What is going on you guys? Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use charts in Figma utilizing the Charts Figma plugin. And uh, link's in the description if you haven't installed it already. Um, so let's get started. All we got to do is go to our plugins and select charts. And you'll notice that you have a range of five types of charts to create. Um, and it's fairly simple. Uh, very user, the UI is very self-explanatory. Um, and you can just add the chart once you're done uh, manipulating the inputs here and you can I'm just gonna go down this one by one but all of the settings are pretty much exactly the same um, except for the donut so yeah I feel like once you get one of these down the, it's very easy to do so we can change the number of uh, lines we want here in this category and number of series and we can also add how many data points we want. So you see we have one, now we have five, but it only shows a range of four here. Not sure why that is. Um, oh, counting from zero to four. Zero being the first index, one, two, three, four, five. So, um, and then you can change the range here as well. So what is that, we got one, five, nice one two three four five and then we can also change the range end on the y-axis so change that to 500 0 to 500 600 0 being the first index and you can also hide the dots on this UI and hide the grid but I like the grid and the dots and once you're done getting the desired uh, chart you can just add it to your canvas. One thing I do notice about the current version of this uh, plugin for charts, uh, what version is, ex is this exactly? Version seven, which was uh, published on August 12th, um, is that the frame does not properly wrap around some of the charts. So what I like to do is just click on my frame and then resize to fit. And there you have it. And also the constraints aren't the worst and they aren't the greatest, but uh, they're somewhat implemented. Uh, if you'd like me to sh create a video on how to add constraints to charts and visualizations, that is definitely a series in itself. So if you want that, just leave a comment in the comment section below. And then also the next chart we can make is a scatter plot or scatter chart. Um, you can hide the grid in this one as well. Uh, change the series, the number of the series, um, the amount of data points. Um, where you want it to start um, and the range again uh, so once you're done with that I'm just gonna add that it's basically the same concept um, for the scatter and for the scatter grid um, I mean scatter chart I'm gonna resize that to fit so all the content no content is being clipped um, and I'm gonna go back plugins charts and then we have another chart and area chart type um, and you can also use these uh, little carrots these arrow indicators and you can hold it down to increase and decrease the number of series you want to be displayed um, and again the amount of data points you can also hide the dots notice the transparency shift and the colors um, you can also hide the grid hide the grid with the dots hide the grid there we go you can add a range to start at as well um, starting right there and then a range on the y-axis to end at so we can go like 200 whoops not 100 that would be 200 there we go and if you click add to chart you'll notice that it overlays it this plugin um, for those of you who don't know uh, if a frame is selected then the chart will be placed within the frame otherwise it will be placed at zero x zero coordinates at the view and the viewport will move to that position in your figma file so that's kind of what you saw there was when I added that chart in. I have this frame selected and then I go back to my plugins, charts. I'm gonna add a chart, it adds it within it. That's what this information is referring to right here. Uh, just a heads up. So it's kind of annoying uh, because you gotta take the chart out of the canvas, I mean out of the frame and then into your desired location. So I'm just gonna do resize to fit. Um, just a heads up, go back to my charts Go to bar, same concept, you know, just show and hide the grid. Gonna add that chart real quick. Um, 
that's annoying. There we go. Then I'm gonna go to plugins, charts, and then the Pi chart, the best chart. Um, you can add a little nice inner radius for a hole if you wanted to. Um, you can change the outer radius as well. Um, make it pretty small if you wanted to. Um, really interesting. And then of course the number of segments you'd want to be shown. You have a little preview as well. No brainer. And yeah, you can hide the labels if you like. And just view the segments chopped up in the pie or show the labels as well in relation to the slices of the pie chart. So once you're done, you can click add to chart. Once you have that, you can just plop that bad boy wherever you want in your design. And that's how you utilize the charts plugin in Figma. If you enjoyed this video, please like and leave a comment and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.